Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. This is Africa, and here's Namibia. Now let's have a look, shall we? The 15th largest country in Africa, Namibia consists of arid plateaus and two deserts, the Kalahari and the Namib, from which it derives its name. The San were the first inhabitants, who to this day still follow the old, old hunting lifestyle of their ancestors. Over time, more people settled in the land, including the Nama in the south and the Bantu-speaking Damara who entered from the north. Because there was no writing in southern Africa in those days, we don't really know a lot about what was going on. The first Europeans to sight and step on Namibian soil were Portuguese explorers in the late 1400s, but it was another two centuries before European influence began to permeate the region. A curious mix of guns and the Bible. A bit like the South in the USA, I suppose. Christianity would become the majority religion, but at the time, the guns were in the ascendant, and caused quite a lot of havoc, as intertribal wars assumed a more explosive nature. Now during the so-called Scramble for Africa, when European powers gobbled up most of the continent, Namibia fell to the Germans. Settlers moved in and started farms and mines and the natives, not exactly overjoyed at being colonized, started rebellions. The Germans, not exactly overjoyed at being resisted, intensified their efforts at crushing the revolt. How? Well, seeing that the rebellion was being led by the Nama and the Herero peoples, the Germans, under the command of General Lothar von Twotha, decided to wipe out those peoples, and tens of thousands died in what proved to be the 20th century's first genocide. They died, and von Twotha was honored by the Kaiser with a shiny medal. In 1915, during World War I, German control of Namibia ended as South Africa swept in and took over. And instead of Twota, they got a guy called Bota. Being joined to South Africa meant that from the 1940s, Namibia fell under the apartheid system of racial segregation. Anyway, after unsuccessfully pleading at the UN for years and years for independence from South Africa, we witnessed the rise of the People's Liberation Army of Namibia, who fought for freedom the old-fashioned way. It took over 20 years, but finally, in 1990, the country country gained independence and Sam Nuyoma became the first president. In 2021, Germany agreed to pay over a billion euros to Namibia for the horrors it inflicted over a century before. And Namibia today, with a medium level of human development, is one of the most free and peaceful countries in Africa. And we only hope that things get better for the Namibian people. So that's it for Namibia, and that's all from me for now. Bye bye! <laughs>